How to check the TPO converter made by the water techniques with the camera? How to make the first test? Here we have TTL converter. Please pay attention that both both batteries are installed plus terminal up. Also, pay attention on the settings on the or the setting of the rotary switch. If uh, we use uh, in on three three zero throw. Uh, we have to set rotor switch to the position 6. six. Check the necessary position using the user manual of TCL converter. So we set the position 6 for Enon 330. Then connect it to the camera. The first test. We have to be sure that the camera recognizes TCL converter. Here we see two symbols of flash on the screen. Uh, those symbols confirms confirm that the camera successfully recognizes TTL converter. This is the first test. Okay. Uh, the second step, we have to check the settings. Here we have on the quick menu the um, different settings, which influences to the which influence to the <clears throat> flash control. First of all, the flash mode. Here we can see the few flash for simple TTL mode, the uh, slow and the uh, uh, rear curtain, synchronization at rear curtain, and the uh, wireless. Pay attention if you set wireless, this command is assigned in firmware of TTL converter for the switching to M mode, manual mode. If you need the TTL mode, set it to the fill flash. Okay. What else? Uh, ISO, the sensitivity. You have to set any ISO which you need for your shooting conditions, but uh, I have just set the 500. This is just for test. What else? The metering mode. We can uh, use multi metering or the center weighted metering or the spot metering. Uh, and camera will measure the uh, amount of light dependently of this setting. If we uh, if we set the center weighted, it means that the camera uh, measure <coughs> measures the most important uh, value of lighting at the center, in the center, and uh, a small area around the center with small coefficient. Okay, let's. Set the center metering. What else? The white balance. Uh, I set daylight, but you can use auto. And the water works very nice. What else? The important uh, parameter is flash exposure compensation. If you want to reduce the flash lighting, you can set any value to reduce it. Or if you want to increase to make the, your shot more light, you also can do it, no problem. And uh, actually, you have to uh, make this setting if you use different cameras uh, with different sensors, or maybe you need to reduce light, you know, any other <coughs> any other wishes. So you uh, you can widely use this setting. Uh, I set the zero setting just for test zero. What else? Um, creative style I set standard, so uh, this is all. Oh, okay, let's continue with the strobe setting. Strobe settings. Uh, this is the <coughs> Enon 330 strobe. For shooting in TTL mode, we simply set it to STTL. If we have the magnet in uh, up position, uh, and control the stroke by the optical fiber cable, uh, the second dial doesn't work. So the stroke does not recognize uh, this control if we, if we use fiber optical cable and uh, STTL. Okay, uh, the next step, we can look how TTL exactly work. For example, let's imagine that we shoot macro. Okay, let's begin with aperture f16. 16. 
Okay, very nice result with auto, result with uh, automatic uh, light control. Okay, let's change the aperture. F16, uh, F14, sorry. Again, perfect result. So TTL works. Let's reduce F13. Again, perfect. And 11. Perfect. Uh, we can uh, <clears throat> change not only the uh, apertures, but we can change ISO with the similar results. results. And, lo and look how TTR works. Uh, pay attention that uh, in this test we used the M setting for the camera, which means that we can manually change the uh, aperture, ISO, and the shutter speed. Uh, most uh, underwater shooters use the M mode, but uh, <coughs> TTL converter will work in all modes. So you can use different modes, doesn't matter, but uh, most popular is for underwater shooters is M, M mode. Okay, this is all.